Hey everyone, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Jason Myers. It is May 8th and we have a moderate risk for severe weather. This comes after yesterday's severe weather. We didn't see a whole lot of it, but a few tornado reports. Five of them showed up uh, in northeast Colorado and then a lot of hail really from Texas all the way as far north as uh, parts of uh, Minnesota right there. It looks like just a little way south of Duluth seeing some of those hail reports and the hail extended all the way out into Michigan as well. Quite a few strong winds, uh, looks like 53 in all and tornado reports. It looks like there were five of them, all of them in northeast Colorado. As for today, we do have another shot at seeing some uh, severe weather. This looks like it's going to be in Minnesota and parts of Iowa as well. That's where that bullseye is. We'll go ahead and get right to it. Slight risk extends all the way from San Antonio, Texas up to uh, really northern Minnesota, most of Wisconsin. But let's concentrate on that moderate risk for today, shall we? And really the bullseye spanning from Des Moines, Iowa, all the way up to uh, it looks like just southwest of uh, Minneapolis. Biggest threat more than likely going to be hail. This is the risk for hail and again covers that same area. A slightly smaller risk, about a 30% risk, extends from Oklahoma City where you're seeing this darker shade of yellow all the way up to central Minnesota and then a even smaller risk for uh, in the other shade of yellow here, northern Minnesota all the way down to Texas. That's about a 15% risk. But today, a much better chance for tornado activity. What's going on is we have uh, quite a bit going on in the upper levels of the atmosphere that's going to be ideal for supercells forming, especially in Iowa and Minnesota here. In fact, the extreme tornado risk right there is the real bullseye from uh, looks like, uh, again, just southwest of Minneapolis, Wilmar. Minnesota all the way down to Ames, Iowa and Marshalltown, Iowa. So if you are in this area, be on the lookout for tornadoes later this afternoon. Looks like the timing of this is going to be early afternoon and early to late afternoon between one and four o'clock is when we're going to start to see things firing up. And again, supercells could form and supercells are very good at creating tornadoes. Uh, besides hail and tornadoes, winds also a risk, uh, but uh, again, that covers a much larger area spanning from Texas all the way up to Minnesota and Wisconsin right there. But again, let's concentrate on that uh, moderate risk. Right there is what we're looking at. Pulling up the models, you can see the rain is really going to form later this afternoon. Those thunderstorms, not a whole lot going on right now. It looks like a little bit of rain shower activity, maybe a few rumbles of thunder in there as we head into the late morning hours. But here is, uh, here's early afternoon. This is about one o'clock central time. We start to see one system firing up just outside of Rochester and then much more activity as we head into, uh, this looks like uh, it would be a two o'clock, three, four, and then five o'clock. This is when we start to see things really firing up and we could see those supercells developing. And like I said, this is all the way up into the upper levels of the atmosphere. Take a look at the winds. We'll look at the 500 millibar uh, winds and you can see we're going to see a little bit of a hot spot working its way closer and closer to that area in southern Minnesota and uh, northern Iowa. Look at this, starting to see those winds up around 65 knots in parts of uh, Minnesota and we'll see those thunderstorms developing out ahead of these bullseyes is where we're going to see them. Here we are in the early afternoon. This is about the time we're going to start to see those thunderstorms developing. And again, out ahead of this is where we're looking and that's where we're going to see a lot of the thunderstorm development later this afternoon and into the early evening hours. Instability, let's look at that. This is called CAPE. This is just a good indicator of how unstable the atmosphere is and watch uh, these shades of yellow going to turn dark orange as we head into the afternoon. Mason City all across northern Iowa right there. We start to see that uh, Cape really starting to go up. A few spots uh, where you're seeing the next shade there where Cape is uh, upwards around 3,000, which is a lot that is ideal for thunderstorm, especially supercell development as we head into the afternoon and the evening. And all of these storms continue to move off to the northeast. They're following that instability through the afternoon and uh, heading into the evening hours. But again, biggest threat's going to be that large hail, supercells forming. So large hail is possible as well as a few isolated tornadoes. I think we'll more than likely see a few more tornadoes than what we saw yesterday. Yesterday, the total count was five. Today, I think we have a good chance to see a few more than that, but the area has changed. 
If you're in northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, make sure you have Storm Shield handy on you this afternoon because we could easily see a tornado watch going up initially and then warnings popping up uh, as tornadoes do develop. And Storm Shield will alert you uh, to, the, uh, to the warnings as soon as they're issued for your exact location. So you're not going to get any false warnings. Please download it for your Apple or your uh, Android device. We'd really appreciate it. And in the meantime, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Storm Shield app, and please like and subscribe to this video. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.